Hello, Pokemon fans! I'm Professor K for the Pokemon Evolutionaries, and today I hit the other box on the corner, but that's okay. We're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. We have Chilling Rain in our hands. The brand new Sword and Shield TCG set is here, and we've got quite a bit of it, to be honest with you. Uh, this particular video is just gonna be one booster box, but we have we have more. We have another box, and we have another box, and we have building battle kits. We got lots of chilling rain for you guys coming up. If this is uh, your first video seeing this, there is more to come for certain. Uh, chances are, if you're watching on YouTube, you're seeing this on Friday. And uh, yeah, it is time to get into this. So, I'm uh, very excited for this set. There's some fantastic artwork in this set. I mean, really, they've just outdone themselves lately with a lot of their alternate arts, and they just keep getting better and better and better every single time. Uh, we have a brand new follower here, if you're uh, watching from the stream as well, joined by the chat up there in the uh, the top right-hand corner, so big shout-out to my chat for showing up here and uh, watching this live uh, for our subscriber-only stream, so i uh, got to thank them first and foremost for making these types of things possible. Um, but without any further ado, we're going to do something that one of my favorite mods in the entire community of mods, just because I can mess with him. Blue Grovile! Guess what, buddy? It's time to do your favorite thing of all time. Get ready for the no in the chat up above. Just watch that top left-hand corner. You'll see it. I promise you. <laughs> all right, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Pyro Steve gifting out five subs to keep more people coming in here, you guys. I'm telling you, Pyro Steve has been on a sub gifting uh, tirade lately. Thank you so much for making that possible. Um, here we go. I'm just gonna. There we go. <laughs> Pyro Steve, dude, thank you so much. Here we go. Rule the frozen tundra. Seize the advantage with Pokemon of the frozen lands with the powerful Ice Rider Calyrex V Max and Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max plus the Galarian forms of Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Phantom Hauntings, Howling Blizzards, and Wild Battles. Expand the realms of your Pokemon strategy with new powers and possibilities. Press on despite ghostly opposition and claim total victory in the land of Spectral Snow with the Pokemon TCG, Sword and Shield, Chilling Rain Expansion. There you go. <laughs> He's banging his head against the wall. That was for you, buddy. All right, here we go. 36 packs. Chilling rain. Oh my gosh, these pack arts are phenomenal. Here comes a donation from Old Man K. Oh my gosh. Hello, everyone. Professor K here, aka a Old Man K, just want to tell everyone that I love the Ole Optile and hate Groninja. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks a lot. I'm sure that was either Grovile or Black Cat. I. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> this is the type of fun we have here on our stream. So if you're not watching, you're missing out, I promise you. So let's take a look at some of these pack arts. Uh, we have. All four of them should be in a row here. Oh, there's five, isn't there? There's five pack arts in this set. That is something that is a little bit hard to get used to, but I just triggered me at the last second. So here you go. There is Calyrex, the Ice Rider Calyrex, technically is what that's going to be. We have the Galarian Zapdos, Galarian Moltres, who honestly no one really likes that much to begin with, but he's got a pretty cool looking card. There's that at least. And my personal favorite, Tuxedo Mask in the building. Oh, I'm sorry. That's just Galarian Articuno. And then we have Shadow Rider Calyrex for the final pack artwork. I mean, this to me has some serious boundaries crossed feeling the way that these packs look. I mean, the color scheme and everything, it just is very reminiscent of uh, the way boundaries Cross looked when it first came out and all their, their pack arts. So I don't know, it just hit me right now. I could be way off, but for some reason, it's just giving me those vibes right now. But... We are about to see what we are going to end up pulling out of our very first pack of Chilling Rain. Hit that like button right now, guys. We are excited for Chilling Rain. Let me know down below in the comment section what is your favorite card. Make sure you guys are subscribed because we have tons of Chilling Rain content on the way. And without any further ado, the first pack is officially cracked. All right. Wow. Okay. 
I didn't realize we were continuing the single strike and uh, rapid strike stuff. See, I've, bu I've done very, very well to keep myself um, as far away from spoilers as possible. Obviously, there are some things that are completely unavoidable, like scans, but um, I didn't realize we were keeping that mechanic going, so that's pretty neat. Here we go. All right. So first up here, we have Shuppet. We've got Snowy Cast Form. Weather Reading. If you have eight or more Stadium cards in your discard pile, ignore all energy in this Pokemon's attack cost. I love that. Uh, that is really cool. We've got Ghastly. Pumfu makes its debut. Training and Elbow Strike. Very cute. We have Hatena. Welcoming Lantern. Put a single strike supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. We have Clara. New trainer card in this set as well. Choose one or both. Put up to two Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand or two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. We have Brawly. Search your deck for up to three basic rapid strike Pokemon and put them onto your bench and then shuffle your deck. Our first reverse is a Wall Rain with Aurora Beam and Hail Prison. And Serena. All right, so nothing too exciting on our very first full, but nonetheless, Serena always has really, really nice looking artwork. Serena's always got a good look to it. So always exciting to see good artwork on a card. All right, here we go. What's going to be in pack number two? Um, I guess I'll keep it up here for now until it runs out of space. And then I ultimately will have to clean up five million packs from my floor. All right, we've got an air on a deerling, Delibird, Larvesta, Mareep, Karen's Conviction. Oh, we see Karen return back again. I remember when she had her uh, debut. During this turn, your single strike Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Uh, with each for each prize card your opponent has taken before applying weakness and resistance. Weeding Gloves. That's a funny name. The attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to do 30 more damage to your opponent's active grass Pokemon. We got Porygon 2. Caitlyn Reverse. Caitlyn, is that the same effect? Wait a minute. Put any number of cards from your hand, from your hand on the bottom of your deck in any order. Yep, same card. Caitlyn gets a exact reprint. And Galarian Surfetched. Very, uh, very aggressive looking Surfetched artwork right there. That is awesome. Uh, I believe Karen was a promo, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if she was actually in a set. Blue Cat! Oh, no. Blue Cat's back. Is it Grovile or is it Black Cat? <laughs> is it Grovile or is it Black Cat? The world may never know. The world will never know. So many L's. So many L's. Oh my gosh. And also K is old. That's the part that's missing. So GG, you missed out on that one. We got Heracross. Cast form, sunny form, also with that same weather reading ability. Boom. Atena. Rockruff in the snow. How adorable is Rockruff in the snow, guys? That is super, super cute. Silpy, thanks for your resub for 20 months now. Um, yeah, that's an adorable card right there. It's a pupper in the snow. We got a Flappy. Half to the peak. Pokemon with Rule Box in play. Both yours and your opponents have no abilities. Oh. Wow. Okay. So. All right. Uh, that's Pokemon V, GX, and etc. have Rule Boxes. Wow. All right. We have Ledian. Swirlix reverse. Fairy types are gone, guys. So we're getting a psychic type Swirlix because I guess we just can. And a Spiritomb. Ghostly cries and will o wisp. Spiritomb always has some like really mischievous type attacks. Uh, for each Pokemon in your opponent's discard pile, put one damage counter on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. If you placed any damage counters in this way, your opponent shuffles all Pokemon from their discard pile into their deck. Interesting. Every time Spiritomb does something really disruptive or weird or just very unique, to be honest. Three, one, and two. All right. They'll move a little bit quicker once we get through some cards that we've already seen. Ralts, Venipede, Bounce Wheats, Lapras, Blitzel, 
Rapid Strike Scroll of the Skies. So let's see here. The Rapid Strike Pokemon this card is attached to can use the attack on this card, but you still need the energy. So Grab Drop, 10 damage plus 50 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Neat, I like that. Dyna Tree Hill, Pokemon, both yours and your opponent's cannot be healed. Complete heal, just destruction there. Steeny! That is like the Scream Steeny. You know the Scream artwork? Like there's like a Scream Pikachu and some other stuff. Or Scream Eevee, I think. Or There's a few Pokemon that got like a Scream artwork. Uh, this is what that reminds me of. Single Strike Urshifu. The very first time we're seeing this in a non-V form. And it's got Field Crush and Fists of Strike. And... We got Inteleon, quick shooting. Once during your turn, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. This, to me, is very, very reminiscent of Greninja being able to do its Shuriken ability as well. So very, very cool to see that mechanic kind of reused again in Inteleon, who is also a very cool water-type starter to begin with. So very exciting to see Inteleon getting something useful like that. All right. So one hollow out of the way. When are we going to get our first ultra rare pull, though? That's the real question. All right. We have a Snorunt. Weedle. That is the most active Weedle I have ever seen. Like, that artwork is actually really, really cool for Weedle. Uh, we have Heracross down here. Looks like it's trying to do, like, pull-ups. At first, I thought it was trying to avoid the Heracross. But now, I feel like it's actually trying to work out. There is another cast form. So we have the regular, we have the sunny, we have the uh, snowy form, all getting that same ability. Quillfish. Let's see. If this Pokemon is in the X spot, knocked out by damage, put six damage counters on attacking Pokemon. Makes sense. It's got spiky, squil spiky quills and all that stuff. Caitlyn. Lucky Energy. That's a new one. So as long as this Pokemon, is, or as long as this Pokemon, as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides colorless energy. If this Pokemon, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot and is damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, even if it's knocked out, you draw a card. We have Galarian Chestplate. If the Pokemon this card is attached to has Galarian in its name, it takes 30 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon after applying weakness and resistance. Spiral Energy, also new, lots of new stuff in this pack. So it can only be attached to a Rapid Strike Pokemon. If this card is attached to anything other than a Rapid Strike Pokemon, discard this card. And as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides every type of energy, but only provides one energy at a time. The Pokemon this card is attached to can't be paralyzed, and if it is already paralyzed, it recovers from that special condition. So it's like a rainbow energy, but a couple of other added effects, and only on some special stuff. And our first card is Ice Rider Calyrex. V Max, check this out. Look how awesome this is. Ride of the High King. That is a regal attack name if I've ever seen one. That is amazing. I feel like the camera is freaking out because of the packs that are sitting there. So I'm just gonna move those off camera so I can focus a little bit better on the card itself. There we go. Come on, stay in focus. Every time I try to bring it up here, it likes to glitch out on me. This attack does 10 more damage for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. And then Max Lance. So Max Lance is 10 damage plus. You may discard up to two energy from this Pokemon. If you do, the attack does 120 more damage for each card you're discarded in this way. So you can actually do 250 damage with no multipliers if you toss out the two water energy. Wow. That's pretty good, actually. I like that. I like that. Gorgeous card to boot. All right, next up. That's a good way to start. If we're going to get our first Ultra Rare, it may as well be the mascot of the set, right? Fire Energy. All right. Golet. Reminds me a lot of the uh, the Golet artwork that you'd see in the Black and White era. We got Clobopus. We got another Snowy Cast form. Hatena. Aeron. Old Cemetery. So whenever the any player attaches an energy card from their hand to one of their non-psychic Pokemon, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. 
Oh, we got another one of these in here. All right, well, Noel will get on me if I don't do. Raboot! Volley kick for 60. It's kind of weird to see a fire type Pokemon just like chilling out in the snow, right? <laughs> We got Agatha. Move up to three damage counters from your active Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon. Wow. They actually captured young Agatha, too. Like, from the very beginning. I like that. I almost didn't even catch that for a second. Uh, Snowy Cast Form. Reverse. And a Kecleon. Something we need in Pokemon Go severely. This is so overdue. Like, how are you going to have a Pokemon missing from the Pokedex this long? When we've already into... We're already into Gen 6. Like, how is Kecleon still missing? This Pokemon is the same type as any basic energy attached to it. If it has two or more different types of basic energy attached to it, this Pokemon is each of those types. All right. Interesting. Indeed. Niantic be Niantic. Indeed. Yeah. One day, Kecleon will appear in Pokemon Go. I just don't know how they're going to introduce it. That's going to be the toughest part, I think, for them, is how are they going to bring it in in a unique way that's worth all the weight that we've been uh, having to endure all this time. All right, we got a Snorunt. Uh, Coscaldochurasco. I'm going to not even say that that was correct, but you know what? Thanks for the follow. Venipede, Snover, Galarian, Slowpoke. Crab Rawler, Hatrim, we got Drizzile, a little bit more centered, Peony, we got discard your hand, insert your deck for up to two trainer cards, reveal them and put them into your hand, and then shuffle your deck, Curly in reverse, and a Cobalion Hollow, Hollow number two, Headbang, that is Grovile's attack when I read the back of the box, <laughs> and Metal Slash for 130, kind of nice to see, uh, the Swords of Justice making a return in some fashion. Always like them. Um, a little weird that we've gone this long and not even gotten like a regular Ultra. We've just got one VMAX. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd like that, Grova. All right, we have a Swirlix. Galarian Yamask. Cast Form Sunny Form. Cast Form Regular Form. <laughs> we got Lediba. Whirlipede is a dark type now that it's poison, poison being dark. Uh, Laron, Expedition Uniform, which look at the bottom three cards of your deck and put them on top of your deck in any order. Porygon 2 Reverse, and a Celebi V! Leaflet Dance and Slashback. So Celebi gets a V card. Very, very nice. Where are you going? Okay. Some people in my household are exiting the household, so apologies there. I just didn't know where they were going. <laughs> no Melanie yet. No, 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 none yet. We are still Melanie-less. That's something you can't say five times fast. Shove it, squub it. <laughs> shove it can, squub it can shove it. I almost said it backwards there. Scrounge and gnaw. It's taunting me, you guys. It's taunting me. <sighs> Brow Brawler. Brookie. Score Bunny. Teal Warrior. Thanks for gifting that sub to Mean King TCG, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Avery, that's our first Avery. Draw three cards. If you drew any cards in this way, your opponent discards Pokemon from their bench until they have three. Wacky, Thog Crystal, search your deck for a Psychic Energy uh, or a basic Psychic Pokemon. Reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. We have Volcarona, Combustion and Fire Spin, and a Banette, Resolute Sprite, Le bleh. Resolute Spites and Eerie Light. Nice little rhyming pattern there, but I stumbled over it. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're about a quarter of the way through the box so far. Dark energy. All right, we got Galarian Yamask. We got Coughing, 
Shove it. We got Spiel. Shove it. Squub it. Celio. There it is. Our very first Melanie. So you attach a water energy from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon V and then draw three cards. A pretty darn good card right there. But there you go. Melanie. Very first one. Uh, let's see. How do we want to pronounce this? I don't even know how to pronounce this. Is, does anybody know the official pronunciation for this dude? Because I don't know if it's Seabold or Cybold or <laughs> Seabold. Okay. All right. That's what I was going to go with, but I didn't want to be wrong. Choose up to two of your Rapid Strike Pokemon and heal 60 damage from them. Thank you, Grobile, for confirming that. And uh, poor Panda, you, you little little waifu struck there. <laughs> Path to the Peak Reverse, and a Doug Trio! Look at the furious, like, aggression of this Doug Trio. Triple heads. Flip three coins, tack to 60 damage for each heads. If all of them are heads during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage from and effects of attacks done to this Pokemon. So if you can flip three heads, you're dealing 180, and you don't get touched on the next turn. Um, at least Doug Trio doesn't get touched on the next turn. That's kind of... Kind of funny, actually. That would be a good meme deck to play. Just for the heck of it. Look at the Doug Trio! The Doug Trio emotes in the chat. The uh, Doug Trio is even shocked by Doug Trio. <laughs> Always a good time, right? Alrighty. Next pack. We have another emote. There's another emote that you guys can use right after the Doug Trio. It's very fitting that after Doug Trio, we would get... Galarian Farfetch'd! <laughs> Let's see them Farfetch'd in the chat. You guys can see it up in the upper left. There we go! Grovile kicking it off! Galarian Farfetch'd. The angry Galarian Farfetch'd emote. Very, very nice to see that. We got a cast form rainy form. Larvesta. We got Sobble. Trying to meditate and not cry at the same time. So when you're trying to calm yourself down, but you're failing. That's exactly what's happening right now with this poor Sobble. <laughs> poor Sobble. We got a Lediba. Karen's Conviction. Echoing Horn. Put a basic Pokemon from your opponent's discard pile onto their bench. So that's... Actually, that effect of the card has been done before. I can't remember the name of it, but it was during the XY era, I believe. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Scroll of Piercing. So this gives the attack Bullet Breakthrough which does 120, and it's not affected by weakness or resistance or any other effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. That's pretty cool. And then Hatrum Reverse. Oh, there it is! There it is! Tuxedo Mask V! Where is my sleeves? All right, Galarian Articuno V. So it has the Reconstitute ability. You must discard two cards from your hand in order to use this ability. Once during your turn, you may draw a card. So you toss out two and draw one, which there are decks that like to throw stuff away, so that would actually be fairly useful with it, uh, especially if we're talking about Mad Party. Uh, that would be really good, right? And then we have uh, Psy Ray, 110, eh, kind of a meh attack. But that ability, though, that ability, extra draw and tossing out some, uh, some Pokemon for extra damage, that seems pretty good to me. I could see this being used and expanded as well for something like Night March. Not bad. Not bad. All right. That gives us three Ultra Rares so far. We got two Vs and a V Max. And that's my first pack on the floor because I wasn't paying attention. GG's. I was trying to keep the floor clean this time, and I failed. Challenge failed! All right. Clobopus. Mareep. Come on, really? I really can't stand this. I can't wait until I move and I get DLS DSLR camera set up with uh, um, with the cam links because this this whole thing that happens with the Brio, I love the Brio as a webcam, but I can't stand the focus of it. It just doesn't want to focus and stay focused. That will be an issue of the past. All right, cast form, rainy form, Nover, whack down. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why of all things would it be whap down? Flara! Brawly! 
Haunter. We got another Rock Ruff in the snow. This time it's a reverse version and a Hatterene Hollow. Witch Rondo. <laughs> Once during your turn, you may switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. If you do, your opponent switches their active with one of their bench Pokemon. So I guess you have to act first though. So that means that if you switch yours into something, they get to choose what they switch their active with. So probably not that great, honestly. Giving your opponent the choice after you do something is never that great. Oranguru also had Whap Down. That is true. It did. I thought that attack name looked familiar, and I couldn't remember why. At first, I thought that it was a card we've already seen today, but then I realized, no, we have not seen that yet. Had a cross. Blah, Puss. Rookie hit twice. Let me just, like... Not think of a better attack name than hit twice. I mean, double slap exists. Why not just double slap? I don't know. Sneasel. Weedle. Hatrum. Flappy. Hakuna! Yo! I don't know if Allison is here, but uh, Scotty, here's your Kakuna. I don't know if she's here. There she goes! Yeah! <laughs> there is indeed a Kakuna, and this Kakuna actually looks pretty cool. Uh, Stiffen is the attack. Yeah. There you go. In any case, Horror Panda! <laughs> oh, okay. I was gonna say, I thought you were subbed before, but yeah, you're right. It doesn't go away unless you actually click it, so thank you for announcing the tier one sub for nine months in a row. The Twitch baby is among us. I, I hesitated to say it, but had to. In any case, uh, TL Warrior gifted that sub earlier. I think I said something about that. Yep, I did. Okay, never mind. I'm losing my mind. Diglett! Diglett dig. Diglett dig. Diglett dig. Trio, trio, trio. And Galarian Weezing! It would have been funny if that would have been the next card instead of Galarian Weezing. Energy Factory. Each basic dark energy attached to your Pokemon that have Weezing in their name provides two dark energy, and you cannot apply more than one Energy Factory ability at a time. Suffocating Gas is Noel's special attack as well, so uh, they have that. He has that in common with Galarian Weezing. And show Mama moment. <laughs> oh boy. All right, three, one, and dose. We're gonna start things off with a Cub Fu. Out of focus, Cub Fu. We got Blitzel, Quillfish. Want to take one at a time? That'd be nice. Galarian Slowpoke. Weedle. Path to the Peak. Ledian. Welcoming Lantern. Zarude, our first one seeing uh, this time around. Pack Call. Search your deck for a grass Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. If you go second and it's your first turn, search up to three grass Pokemon instead of one, and then shuffle your deck. Repeated Whip for 60, plus 20 more for each grass energy attached. Oh! Hello! Come on. If there's ever a time to focus, camera, it's right now. Shadow Rider Calyrex V Full Art. Shadow Mist and Astral Barrage are the attacks. There we go. There we go. Now you guys can really see it. That is gorgeous. And in real life, I gotta tell you, it looks even better. Wow. I give it to 5-Ban, man. 5-Ban, usually, their graphics are a little... Their cards are a little eh. But the mixture of the astral background, all the blues and the purples and the pinks, and then the outline, hollow outline, of both... Um, of both Pokemon here are just fantastic. This is a gorgeous card. This is gorgeous. Wow. So we have really already gotten like both versions technically. We got one V, one V Max, but we've got Ice Rider and Shadow Rider out of the same box. At least one form of it. So that's pretty cool. Funny because I said in the beginning that uh, it'd be nice to just get the mascots of the box, and here we are 
already with two Calyrex. That's uh, that's pretty neat right there. Yellowish506, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. We're about almost halfway through this box. I know it's taken a long time, but the first box always does, so sorry. I get a little bit distracted by some of these cards that I've never seen before. All right, so we've gotten through most of the stuff that we've seen. There's another Melanie. That's Melanie number two. I'll bring this down here so we focus a little better. Expedition Uniform, which I think I've gotten before, yes. And a Reverse, if I haven't seen it before. Now I really have. Along with a Zangoose with Gale Claws. Very uh, nice looking effect there on Zangoose. Nice looking card. All right. Three more packs to go on the left side of the box. Should be picking up some speed now. Metal energy off to the side. We've got another Cup Foo to start things off. Bring that down. Inke! That's our first Inke, I do believe. That is a very hungry, hungry Inke. Balancing a pot and all that food. That takes skill. Diglett! Diglett dig! Score Bunny pushing a snowball. Why isn't it melting? He's a fire type. He should just melt right through it. Shuppet. Lucky Energy. Galarian Chest Plate. Flaffy. Hatena Reverse. And a Frostlass. Our first Frostlass. Frost over. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, during your turn, you may attach a Water Energy from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. That was very fast. What is that? What are those? Hey, what are those? <laughs> you got some some desserty looking stuff. I'm kind of I'm kind of intrigued at the moment. You got him for her. Ah, what is it? Why would I not like that? Oh man, that's unfortunate. Mm. All right, we got a Ralts, a Venipede, a Bounce Sweet. Lapras, Blitzel, Haunter, Flannery. Okay, so Flannery is in this set, and this is the very first one of those we are seeing. So Flannery says, discard a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon and discard a stadium card in play. Wow, it just started pouring down rain. I guess they literally just missed it. <laughs> uh, we have a Crabominable. First one we're seeing of those as well. Double Larry and Crab Hammer. Those are actually very familiar uh, attacks for this particular Pokemon, I do believe. We have a Reverse Shuppet and a Spiritomb. Another one we've seen before. Uh, it's, is it just Calyrex and Spectre, or do they have separate ones of each? I believe it is just a combination of both. I'm not 100%. I did my best to avoid scans. Obviously, I came across some, so I know like what the alternate arts look like and stuff. But um, I'm not 100% certain. I like to be surprised when a new set comes out, and I've done my best to avoid them. So I'd rather react in real time than know in advance. Galarian Slowpoke. Coughing. Galarian Yamask. Snorunt. Bounce Sweet. Drizzile, Peony, Caitlyn, Fire Resistant Gloves. The attacks of this Pokemon this card is attached to do 30 more damage to your opponent's active fire Pokemon. We're literally using gloves on a fire type. And a Malamar, Rapid Strike Tentacles. Well, uh, reveal any number of Rapid Strike cards from your hand. This attack does 40 more damage for each energy you revealed in this way. Oh, 40 damage for each, not 40 more. 40 times. Uh, and then shuffle those cards into your deck. Yeah. Interesting. That is the first half of the box. And so far, we have two Vs, a Full Art, and a VMAX. So that is where we stand at the moment. What does the right side of the box have to offer? Let's find out. Found Sweet. We got another Cub Foo. Inke. Diglett. Score Bunny. Brawly. Whirlipede. The Wacky. Galarian Chestplate Reverse. And a Malamar again. Back to back. Rapid Strike Tentacle Malamar. Alrighty. I'm not sure if it's in the set or not either, actually, uh, Grovile, but we haven't seen any yet. That's for certain. 
All right. We've got a Swirlix, Neasel, Nover, Blitzel, Gastly, Flappy, and Avery. Clara, Flappy Reverse, and a Gallade. Oh, wow. That Gallade looks nice as well. Who did the artwork on this one? NC Empire. I don't know if I've ever seen that actually as an artist on cardboard. I'm sure they probably have, uh, and I've just never really paid attention, but I just happened to really look at this one because it's so colorful and just so detailed. I love the way that looks. Very, very nice. Faints and Dynablade. 60 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon V in play. That could be decent if double colorless energy was still around. Yeah, Beezus would be happy to see that Gallade for sure. She'd be like, it's Scarf! That's what she named her Gallade. <laughs> Alright, Deerling! A Pokemon that's missing from Pokemon Go for some reason right now. I don't really know why. Galarian Slowpoke, Coughing, Galarian Yamask, Snorunt, Drizzile, Melanie, uh, Seabold, a Reverse Inteleon, and another Serena. One, two, three, four. So, if they're duplicated, maybe we'll get eight in this box if we're lucky. If we're lucky. Seems to be the way they're going. Inkay, Rockruff, Ghastly, Lediba, Porygon, Curlia, Justified Gloves. The attacks to this Pokemon. Sorry, the Pokemon this card is attached to does 30 more damage to your opponent's active dark Pokemon. Then Weeding Gloves again, we saw earlier. There's a regular Weezing in this set and a Galarian. Mixin Toxin and Smog Burst. <laughs> and an Ampharos with Thundershock and Searchlight Tail. Nice look at Ampharos there as well. Like I said, I, they've definitely done a great job with the way that these, uh, these cards look. I was already impressed by the alternate arts, and now even more so by every other Pokemon that they've done artwork of so far. Even Grookey. Cute little Grookey with hit twice. <laughs> Mareep, Rockruff, Swirlix, chilling on a donut. Lapras, Ledian, wait a minute. Swirlix is chilling on a donut, but Swirlix is one foot four. That means that that donut is like, that's a two foot donut. That's a monster-sized donut. <laughs> Why? All right. We have another brand new card here. If I can get it to focus. Peonia. Put up to three prize cards into your hand. Then, for each prize card you put into your hand in this way, put a card from your hand face down as a prize card. There you go. Could be a pillow. Yeah. It could be a donut-shaped pillow. Oh, and Honey is in the set as well! I didn't even realize that. So we got two brand new trainers back-to-back. -back. Draw a card for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon V. Donut question why. <laughs> yeah, it could have been a pillow, but I would prefer to think of it as a two-foot donut because I'm a little bit hungry and a little bit jealous of the fact that I didn't get a dessert drink when my wife came back. Uh, Dynatree Hill Reverse and a Porygon Z Hollow. Look at the background of this. This is actually really cool. It's like super three-dimensional. It really is living in the circuitry right there. That's awesome. Yes, actually, you totally call that. Yes, I'm glad you're still here, Saturnine. Yeah. Um, great job on this. Great job on this. Bug Transmission. Whenever you attach an energy card from your hand to make this Pokemon... Or, well, yeah. hmm. Whenever you attach an energy card from your hand to this Pokemon during your turn, you may make your opponent's active Pokemon confused. Yeah, great job. Great job on that. A faulty update was added to its programming. Its behavior is noticeably strange, and the experiment seems to have been a failure. Well, it's okay. We still love you, Porygon Z. You're not a failure to us. 
All right. Next pack. We've got another very sad meditating Sobble trying to trying to become Zen, but it's just a little bit too sad about it. Bounce sweets. Furfuru. How long has it been since we've had a Furfuru card? My goodness. Find a friend and fur attack. I almost forgot Furfuru was even a Pokemon, you guys. It's been so long and so ignored since XY that I literally forgot about Furfuru as a Pokemon. That is actually hilarious. And here I am talking about how I feel like Gorbis, Huntail, and, and Clamper are all very forgettable. Furfuru is like the epitome of forgettable Pokemon right now, now that I've physically seen a Furfuru card for the first time in years. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Uh, there's a Diglett, a Larvesta, a Laron, Rugged Helmet. That's a new one along with that one back there too. So uh, Rugged Helmet says, if the Pokemon this card attached to is in the active spot and damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, even if it's knocked out, put an energy card attached to the attacking Pokemon into your opponent's hand. Yes, I drank it. <laughs> Being asked questions from across the room. Crushing Gloves. The attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to do 30 more damage to your opponent's active metal Pokemon. Lucky Energy Reverse and a Blissey V. Our fifth Ultra Rare from the box. Natural Cure. Whenever you attach an energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, it recovers from all special conditions. And then Blissful Blast. This attack does 30 more damage for each energy attached to this Pokemon. If you did any damage with this attack, you may attach up to three energy cards from your discard pile to this Pokemon. That's actually not bad. I'm not even going to lie. That is not bad. I mean, if you're doing 30 damage for each energy attached to the Pokemon, you're doing 40 base, and then on the next turn, you're adding 90 damage to it if you have three energy in your discard pile. So if you've got energy in the discard to spare, I mean, that can add up pretty quickly. Forbidden Light? Was it really? See, that's how forgettable it is. I didn't even realize it was in Forbidden Light. It seems so long ago. Grass, energy, and our next pack is a Venipede. Seal, Crab Brawler, Golit, Porygon, Rugged Helmet, Crab Abominable, Doctor. Wow, how unique. Draw two cards. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon VMAX, draw two more cards. Obama Snow, Toughness Boost, Single Strike Pokemon in play, except Obama Snow. Get plus 50 HP. You can't apply more than a one Toughness Boost ability at a time. And finally, Galarian Weezing is our rare. So five Ultras and how many Hollows? Five Hollows. So that is already 10 total hits. I'm going to say we probably have four, three to, well, three to five. I'll call it, well, there you go. There's, there's that. Three to five uh, left of hits. So since I've already shown that off, uh, we've got Steeny, Hatcher and Path to the Peak, Banette, Reverse, Aeron, Katena, Kubfu, Ghastly, Snowy Form, Cast Form, and Shuppet. No new Pokemon in that pack. So since I spoiled it, I'll give you guys a quick pack make up for some of the uh, ones that took a while. As I said, I like to go through the very first box slowly and then speed it up on the rest. Squub it! Shove it, squub it! What? Hello, Professor. It's me, Squub it. So I've heard you've been telling my friends to shove it. Well, as punishment, you will now find me as a shiny form before the Wooloo. And if you somehow find the Wooloo, then you will have to shiny hunt me. Oh, no. Oh no, that does not sound good at all. <laughs> Dang it! Well, I'll figure out who did that later, but I feel like it's always going to be Black Cat or Grovile at some point. And our next card is... A Rainbow Rare Avery, of all things. That's the secret rare, or at least one secret rare, because it is possible to get two. Rainbow Rare Avery is the pull from this box so 
Draw three cards. If you draw in this way, your opponent discards Pokemon from the bench. They have three. Okay, yep, I remember. We, we, we had a couple of these that we opened up already of the regular form. But there you have it. Rainbow Rare Avery. Somebody said Rainbow Onion, but they were wrong. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, hey, Ben. How you doing, man? Oslo Games. How are you doing, dude? Just got uh, got to lunch. Yeah, I hear you, man. Still working the late shift, huh? He's a co-worker of mine. We were on the same team back when I was in, uh, in the same department. It's crazy to think that it's been almost two years since we've been on the same team, dude. Almost two years. Coming up real soon at the end of this month. That is just time is flying, man. Glad to see you in here, though, dude. All right. They got a Heracross. Uh, Onion would be uh, Celebi, by the way. We got Castform, Sfeel, Hatena, Rockruff, Galarian Chestplate, Caitlyn, Kakuna, Drizzile, and a Sawsbuck, Tackle and Winterhorn. 80 more damage if you have a Stadium card in play. Pretty neat. Otherwise, Sawsbuck doesn't get a lot of love normally. Yeah, so that was what it was. All right. So, pull rates seem to be a little low. I think, but uh, maybe we, we'll have to see how the rest of the boxes go. Sobble, Inkay, shove it, squab it, Brzeki, Rob, what's up, man? Ah, uh, they're a little on the slower side, I feel. I mean, we've gotten some Calyrex, which is nice, but uh, definitely could have had a couple of other better ones, I feel. But the box isn't done yet. Thank you, though, buddy. 34 months of subscriptions. Appreciate you, Rob. Hope all is well, my friend. All right, dark energy off to the side. We've got a Snorunt, Venipede, Snover, Galarian Slowpoke, Crab Brawler, Melanie, Seabold, Brawly. Wow, just trainer after trainer after trainer. Golit and Galarian Slow King V. Our sixth. Is that six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, actually, no, seventh. Our seventh ultra rare of the box and fourth V overall is the newly added Galarian Slow King V concoction. Discard a card from your hand. If you do, draw three cards and word of ruin at the end of your opponent's next turn. The defending Pokemon will be knocked out. That is something that a ghost Pokemon would do more than a, a poison Pokemon would do. But uh, nonetheless, very unique and uh, just very sinister looking, right? Like, for a slow king. I don't want to mess with that slow king, man. He's coming to get you in the middle of the night. While you sleeping. No thank you! Alright. So, seven. Well, I mean, I said there's a good chance we get eight. And we're coming up on the end of the box, so... Maybe four and four on each side. Swirlix. Sneasel. Snover. Blitzel. Ghastly. Expedition Uniform, Old Cemetery, Raboots, Grookey, and... I, what? Tornadus VMAX. I didn't even realize Tornadus was in this set. That's, that's, how, that's how in the dark I was about the pulls in this box. But nonetheless, the legendary Arita is the artist of this card and i said i was hoping we pull more arita cards and here we go with tornadus v max yeah fantastic job on tornadus 100 percent blasting wind and max wind spirit Let's see if i can give you guys a little bit of a better look here Let's see if i can get the zoom to cooperate the focus and all that good stuff hey it's cooperating for once there it is awesome artwork Arita is the master, in my opinion. I was very, very fortunate when he came to Florida a couple of years ago to be part of the very last signing where he did signatures that were not personalized. Like it was, now on it's just personalized, like two so-and-so. Um, and I have Charmander and a couple of Charizards that I had him sign uh, while he was here. 
So I'm very grateful for having the chance not only to meet him, but also to have uh, cards that are signed by him during the very last portion where he stopped doing like just regular signatures. All right, next up, another shove it, squub it. Crab Brawler, Grookey, Score Bunny. We have an Aeron, Peonia, Honey, back to back again. Super weird that we've only had two of those each in their back to back. Drizzile, Karen's Conviction, and a Weezing. Regular rare. Uh, TCG or TCGO, I'm not 100% certain on that Primal Clash. Um, more than anything, it's a factor of time and um, just not being up to speed as far as competitive goes. Like when we did uh, TCG and TCGO, I was able to keep up with it a lot more because this was my full-time job. Like YouTube was my full-time job and Twitch, obviously. Um, and that's not the case anymore. Like I actually have to work a full-time job and do this in order to, you know, be able to survive now because of all the changes um, since things have gone south with YouTube in general. So um, yeah. Unfortunately, I just don't have the time or the resources anymore to do TCG in a fashion that would be quality. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not the type of person that can put out quality just for the sake of uh, content, for the sake of putting out content. I have to put out stuff that actually is going to be good. Like, I don't feel comfortable doing deck profiles and battles with decks that are uh, lackluster or, you know, just garbage. Um, I want to actually have content out there that's like, good and, and you know informative and helpful i just don't feel like i can bring that to the table so that's why i haven't done it in the last few years if it ever comes to a point where we're able to do that again though better better best believe i will i miss playing the game to be honest with you i really do but uh, that's the main reason but thank you very much for understanding and i appreciate the kind words uh very much so and i appreciate everyone who's stuck around and continue to watch us on twitch and youtube regardless even though we've become a predominantly opening channel. I know a lot of people stuck around for the deck profiles and the uh, the battles and such, but uh, I just didn't want to give you guys content that I couldn't be proud of, you know? I'm not doing this for, for that reason, you know? I'm not just going to pump out content for the sake of pumping out content. Uh, I, I want it to be quality. And I don't want to mislead any players into playing in a tournament with a lackluster deck. Because I know what that's like. I've seen too many decks that were built that I took to competitive events before I really knew what I was doing. And, uh, yeah, it was very clear that they were just looking for views, and that was it. So, different story there. But in any case, back to the box. We've got two packs left, and we are going to see if we can pull anything else. we got a Pissimian, which has got the throwing coach ability. Grab a strike Pokemon, do 30 more damage to your opponent's bench Pokemon V and po Pokemon GX, and you cannot apply more than one throwing coach at a time. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. I'm not sure how to say your name there, but I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. For the final pack of this very first box of Chilling Rain, I realize this has been a very long video slash stream so far for one box, but I promise you, future videos will be much shorter with the box openings. Since it's the last pack, I'm not even going to hide the fact that uh, we're closing it out with a bang as my good friend uh a bit oddish formerly water and grass would say ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i have indeed felt that glossy gloss and not just any glossy gloss but that textured aka full art potentially secret rare glossy gloss <laughs> oh man i miss uh I miss having him around in, in uh, videos and such good dude Heracross, Clobopus, Grookey, Sneasel, Weedle, Kakuna, Beedrill, no, Flannery, <laughs> Rugged Helmet, Reverse Blitzel, and the final card of this very first booster box to accompany these other very nice looking uh, cards that we have gotten so far. Just gonna, gonna throw them out there, gonna line them up. We're gonna summon something in the circle. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Wabam! Fog Crystal, we got two Seeker Rares! I told you, I told you, I said we got one Seeker Rare, but we could still get another. And sure enough, 
We have a gold fog crystal to accompany our rainbow rare Avery. Wow, guys. I really, really brought that into fruition. I used my fog crystal ball <laughs> and I saw, I saw the future of the second golden, or uh, second golden, second secret rare of this box. I just totally fortune tellered that thing. <laughs> That is an amazing way to end this box without a doubt. Overall, giving us a grand total of nine. Nine ultra rares from our very first box. That's much better than I anticipated because we have nine ultras, but we also have five hollows, giving us a grand total of 14 hits out of our 36 packs. I really thought we were going to be hollow heavy given the way we started, but we actually ended up not nearly as hollow heavy as I initially thought, giving us uh, quite a bit of room for extra ultra rares. So the uh, second half of the box definitely lit on fire in comparison. That was awesome. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for our very, very first booster box of Chilling Rain. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more TCG content here on the Pokemon Evolutionaries. Lots more Chilling Rain yet to come. Uh, we are working on trying to... Uh, figure out our stream schedule a little bit. We're, we're moving some stuff around and things like that, but uh, definitely a lot more to come. At least in this stream, we're doing two more videos. So you're going to have a little bit of Chilling Ring content for a while until uh, maybe next week or the week after when things start to speed up a little bit more. So thank you all very much for joining us here uh, for today's video. If you're watching on Twitch, stay tuned for more. We will have plenty of more Chilling Rain to open here tonight. But thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you all in the next one. Take care and have a great day.